Uh, we will talk about sphericity, but as it applies directly in this case to the uh, fertilizer manufacturing process, uh, which uses a lot of uh, online uh, image analyzers from Microtrack. This is a typical granular fertilizer process flow sheet. Note the quality goals at the top for consistent dissolution rate into the soil. A narrow size range, usually two to four millimeters in diameter. And the granules have to be very spherical in shape. And even dissolution rate optimizes the crop growth process. At the start of the process and moving clockwise, a high temperature chemical melt of compounds containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are fed along with a recycle stream from the oversized and undersized silos shown at the bottom of the flow sheet. The hot granules then feed into a cooling and smoothing drum and then to the series of size classification screens. The 4 by 2 millimeter product stream goes to a coating operation which applies a coating to inhibit abrasion and keep dusting at a minimum. Significant dusting reduces final tonnage and results in loss during handling and shipping as well as generating an unhealthy plant environment. Next note some of the major challenges to optimal plant operation. One major problem is screens clogging or breaking, which upsets the design for screened flow to the recycle silos and the rate of recycle feed. Observation of changing silo levels lags the screen damage, which results in major feed fluctuations that take a long time to recover from. These fluctuations then have a negative effect on the strength and sphericity of the granules from the smoothing drum. Online image analysis not only maximizes productivity and quality, but also meets these challenges. Before getting to the specifics, we'll give some background on image analysis. Important benefits of online analysis and control include the following. First, improved quality and productivity. Normal process surges occur, like changes in feed material properties, feed rates, and equipment damage, and cause wide fluctuations in quality and productivity if control action isn't taken quickly. Manual sampling and lab sieve analysis is manpower intensive, takes time, and is subject to a number of operator errors from sampling to calculating results. And visual shape inspection is very subjective. Real-time control minimizes all fluctuations by providing fast control response. The next benefit is faster startup. Process equilibrium is reached faster with the opportunity to minimize surging during startup, thus improving productivity. Next is less downtime. Responding quickly to process problems, like screen damage, coding process problems, silo clogging, to save process from catastrophic shutdown also adds to increased productivity. It also avoids operator error when online analyzer results are input directly to automated feedback or feed forward control loops. Two of the three Microtrack online analyzers can measure in the three-dimensional mode for new and much more accurate results. 3D image analysis is available from only Microtrack. Of the advantages, first, the third dimension, 
thickness is measured in addition to length and width. And all three parameters together report the most accurate volume distribution possible. 3D analysis also reports much more accurate size measurements because it measures all three dimensions from the different orientations of each particle. This means the most accurate measurement of each dimension is made on the optimum particle orientation for that particle. And this means that shape measurements are also more accurate as most of them are calculated from ratios of size measurements. So this provides the most accurate sphericity measurement possible, a vast improvement over visual observation. Just a little background on the instrument we'll be focusing on. Here's a schematic which shows the simplicity of dynamic image analysis as used in the Partan 3D and 3D Pro for process analyzers. The dry sample placed in the funnel above right moves on a vibratory feeder to the edge of the sensing zone where it falls by gravity through the sensing zone and is collected in the sample box at the bottom. A light strobe on one side of the sensing zone lights the particles as the digital camera on the other side photographs the particles as they tumble through the sensing zone. A video file of the analysis is stored and distributions and summary data for 36 different size and shape parameters for each particle are calculated and reported. And all this data is available as soon as the analysis ends, typically in a few minutes. Here's a chart showing different types of process control protocol. On the left is a diagram showing what's typically referred to as inline or in situ. Here the sensor is in the process itself, no sample extraction required. But it's nearly impossible to find a point where there is always a representative sample of the particles in a flowing stream or mixing tank which is a nice segue to the second diagram illustrating Microtrax protocol for online sampling of particulates. Here sampling systems are applied to representatively sample a process stream over a short period of time and divert the sampled stream to the particle analyzer. And there's the at line manual sampling which is the least efficient for optimizing control. It includes manual sampling followed later by lab analysis and is subject to error and long lag times before control response is taken. This slide points out the unfortunate problem with most manual sampling and control. We see here fluctuation in feed rate to a unit operation. It could be a milling circuit, a granulator, a crystallizer, etc., and plotted as tons per hour versus time. The surging is usually a result of fluctuations in one or more characteristics of the material being fed to a unit operation or to minor equipment damage. This causes a change in particle parameters downstream, be they size, sphericity, or some other particle parameter. The big control problem is the long time lapse and resulting long out of control periods from manual sampling and control. The problem is too much lag time between the need to make proper control changes to minimize fluctuation in both productivity and product quality. In this slide, we see large fluctuations in feed rate, and ultimately, the feed rate far above the maximum out-of-spec range, long before the next sampling time would take place. 
note the circled point on the chart. The dashed horizontal lines show the maximum and minimum spec set for large fluctuations like this. The next slide illustrates the improvements to be expected using automatic continuous measurement and control. Here's a graphic example of one of the many advantages of real-time process control. Manual sampling and analysis in the lab takes much more time and manpower than does real-time measurement and control response. The black line sinusoidal tracing above tons per hour versus time graph shows wide surges, fluctuations because of slow, usually several hours, manual sampling and control response. Online measurement and control can affect control response to changing conditions every five to ten minutes. That length of time allows much faster control response than a manual sampling and lab analysis procedure. The blue trace above represents typical improvement in process stabilization with real-time control. And the distance between the old minimum production rate and the new minimum is the productivity improvement shown on the right. Back to our fertilizer manufacturing flow sheet, this time showing where online sampling for real-time measurement of key parameters can be employed. Some plants have more than one partan online and some have multiple sampling points feeding alternately to a single analyzer. This one illustrates the use of one partan to measure the size distribution of the product from the cooling drum to control the feed rates of the melt and the recycle stream to the granulator. And a unit at the end of the process measuring sphericity and size of the final product to control the cooling smoothing drum and coating operations. The measured samples are returned to the process streams. Here's a brief history of online image analysis for Microtrack. The first online image analyzer, which was a Partan, was installed in Norsk Hydro's granular fertilizer manufacturing plant in 1987. This photo shows that installation. Now there are about a total of 40 online partans in various types of manufacturing plants, 20 of which are in the fertilizer industry. Unlike most online analyzer companies who use third parties, Microtrack does complete sampling system and analyzer design manufacture and installation. There's been a continuing evolution in design and models of online analyzers since 1987. You'll notice this in some photos of older installations later. And a suspension system analyzer has just been added. For sampling system design, Microtrack engineers meet with customers to get plant drawings for possible sampling points and type and size of samplers. Then they design the systems and procure parts and assemble the equipment. Get customer approval, ship and install the systems on site. Material options include mild steel, stainless, titan, and special epoxies or other durable surface coatings for harsh environments. And to date, all sampling systems installed have been custom engineered by Microtrack. Here are the current three dynamic image analysis online units, designated as Pro for process. At left is the Partan 3D Pro used in the fertilizer application. 
In the upper right, the Partan 3D Maxi Pro for larger materials. And these are both dry analyzers, each of which offers the patented 3D mode of measurement. And the new suspension analyzer is at the bottom right. It has its own sampling and dilution system built in. The above slide shows features of the Partan Pro software which are particular to online use. Above is the size distribution data graph with an overlay pulled up used to assign control of various online process conditions to the samplers, vibratory feeder, and camera. Here again are software features used online. In the background, the data display is shown overlaid by the trend results display. The trend results give information analogous to a trend chart recorder, a view of any size or shape parameter value over time, used by control room operators to follow trends and anticipate any upcoming problems. Here are four screenshots displaying some important features of the image analysis software, whether in a lab or an online instrument. Starting in the upper left is the analysis results display. Up to six different parameter distributions can be reported here, or overlays of six different analyses for one parameter for comparison purposes. Next, in the image file display, all images in the saved video file can be displayed, sorted on any parameter, and a search query can be made to isolate particles within limits of various parameters to create different classifications of components within the total sample. The scatter diagram can be used to also create classifications or compare two different parameter distributions against each other. Size versus sphericity, for example, for the fertilizer application. At the far left is a list of all parameter values that can be called up for any particle in the saved video file. And the video file can be remeasured any time under a different analysis set of conditions than it was originally run under. This is a great tool for method refinement. Here's an example of the drawings for a conveyor belt sampler done by Microtrack. Photos on the right point out on the process where the sampler was installed. The installation is done by Microtrack and all drawings are given to the plant maintenance department. Note also, this is a high temperature process requiring insulated housings. The photo on the left shows a feed hopper dropping sample onto the parton vibratory feeder in a potassium chloride plant. And on the right is a shot of the camera with lens cover illustrating the dusty environment. The lens cover can be easily cleaned or replaced requiring no process downtime. Both a narrow size range and high sphericity of the KCL granules have to be controlled. This is a crushed material, so changes to the gap in the crusher can improve sphericity and changes in feed rate can maintain a narrow size range. Here in a calcium ammonium nitrate plant, on the left is a custom cup sampler path to go around the cooling drum below the sampling point. In this spray cooling, spherinizing process, temperature, nozzle pressure, and rotating nozzle RPM 
are controlled to avoid agglomeration during drying and to maintain size and sphericity control parameters. The photo on the right shows the Partan Pro where the hinge had been broken on the measuring compartment door. And here's the analyzer with the door repaired. The only repair service ever performed on that unit 18 years after installation. To summarize, online process analysis and control improves product quality and productivity. It minimizes catastrophic plant shutdowns and reaches stable operation faster on startup and eliminates much human error. Microtax patented 3D image analysis measures more accurate sizes and shapes and gives more accurate volume distributions in minutes. Microtrack has 28 years experience in online image analysis with over 40 installations globally. Microtrack provides custom sampling systems from design to installation. Thank you for checking out our on-demand presentation. We hope you enjoyed the content. Our particle analyzers have been trusted by the material science community since 1974. Let us show you the value our solutions provide. We would be happy to arrange an on-site demo, or you could send samples for complimentary analysis. To schedule the demo or sample analysis, simply email Jason Noga at the address on the screen to get started. For more information on our entire suite of particle characterization solutions, please visit microtrack.com today.